Last fall, we started putting together an application to run a healthy food and farming camp. So the goal of the camp is not only to teach cooking skills, but to teach where food comes from and to teach how food is grown. So the goal is to give them an appreciation through food, from cooking and trying really delicious meals and working with really gourmet chefs from around Halifax, but also visiting farms and getting a sense of an appreciation for how food is grown and where food comes from. Okay, so why are you here? Anything food related? Yeah. This afternoon, we're visiting Common Roots Urban Farm. It's really exciting for them to feel part of, you know, a growing urban farm. Should we go for a walk around? So there's three main parts to the garden. When the QEH High School came down, we said wouldn't it be a wonderful idea if we could use part of this land to grow food, to help people in our community develop those kinds of skills, and out of that grew our common roots. Currently we have many restaurateurs who have plots of land who are growing fresh herbs. We have people in the community who live in apartments and have no ability to grow fruits and vegetables or flowers who are participating in some of the plots. We have a number of plots that we call our market gardens and the vast majority of that food goes to the Parker Food Bank. We have youth from a number of programs who are coming here who are learning skills, learning about good healthy food. So that's our whole intention because our mission and our vision at Capital Health is healthy people, healthy communities and this is where it starts. Do people know what these are? Yeah. We've seen flowers that can be eaten, which is quite interesting. I love it. We've also seen <laughs> kale, <Yeah>. tomatoes, <laughs> herbs like thyme and rosemary and stuff like that. We think that this is just a beautiful example of Thrive in Action. This is about teaching people around good food supply, sustainable food, how to grow your own, engaging the youth in activity, teaching them good skill sets that are going to go forward with them and as they uh, grow older, and uh, helping families come together and communities come together, so all contributing to wonderful health. At this camp this week, um, I'm working with uh, 14 participants. Um, today we took them through a lesson on how to break down chicken and then all the different ways that we'd be able to cook from it, all using 100% local ingredients and seasonal flavors. I don't know if I'm doing it. <laughs> this morning I learned how to use a whole chicken and cut apart the different parts and we brought out some herbs and vegetables and cut those. And make some salads and cook the chicken. We need to know about preparing food because as we get older we're going to have to start preparing more of our own food and we can't just rely off of like microwave meals all the time. So it's good to be able to prepare your own food from scratch. I think it's extremely important if we're ever going to reach new levels of food education to concentrate on the youth, to make it comfortable for them, to get them really actively involved and then to have them want to share what they've learned. It's incredibly important. Yeah, I think it's pretty important for students and kids to learn, so then when they're off on their own, it'll be good for their life skills. This camp has been a lot of good experience for me. We've done a lot of stuff around food safety and where our food comes from, really covered all the bases with the food. I think this would be a really good camp for other people in our age group because it teaches people about their food, what they're eating, and how to prepare more like healthy food.